Hey guys, what is going on? Bringing you another quick and short video. Today I'm going to be installing and replacing the Sahara handlebar. And hopefully you guys can see in here it is a little dark. But basically this handlebar does not have holes. For some reason the Sahara is the only one in the JL series. This is what the Sport, Sport S and the Rubicon handlebars I believe look like. So I'm going to replace this one with this one because I want to be able to use these little mounts for my Carolina mount where I can add an iPad or something else. So we're going to go ahead and replace this real quick. It's very uh, simple, very straightforward. Basically, you're going to pop this little cap right here, which I've already done. I got to see what size that is, but I think that's uh, maybe an eight. And then you pop this thing, same thing, just a panel popper. It pops really easily. So you pop this out and I can get to the other side. I can pop it all the way if I need to. So let me go ahead and get my tools and pop that out real quick. By the way, that is the part number right there. I'll link that down below in the description in case you want to do the same thing. And it is a 10 millimeter socket. So we're just going to go ahead and use my little ratchet here and take that off. Do the same thing on the other side. I've got a little pocket that I put in here. It's just something you insert uh, in here to hold extra stuff. So it comes in really handy, gives you a little extra storage space. All right, it's getting dark quickly. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Uh, one thing I noticed, you wanna reuse the hardware that's here. You don't have to make this super tight. The uh, factory, I think, makes it so tight that it actually went through the plastic backing that's there. And uh, it was really hard to get these bolts of the old handle. I have to get a mallet to uh, slam it out of there. So once it gets to, I don't think you have to over torque these at all. But guys, that is basically, it's super simple to install. Uh, also, I had lost one of these little clips. These actually attached to the covers and one of them had come off. So you basically pop that back on. The one that I lost was for here, but I was able to fish it out of the old one. So just keep an eye on that when you pull the old one out, if you're going to do that. Now for the mount that I got, I'm going to loosen this. I put everything back together. As you can see, trims back on their covers are on there. By the way, when you pop these off, you just start over here and over here. Super simple. They pop out. It's just not thin. Uh, it's a 5 16. The socket, by the way, was a 10 millimeter socket. And I'm just going to loosen this bolt because that's the one I'm going to use to uh, put my mount on. So just back that out. Super easy. And there we go. And the mount's going to go in there. So I'll post that up and show you what that looks like. All right, guys. So now we can finally install our Carolina Metal Masters. And what this allows you to do is use this hole i couldn't do that with the sahara handle as you guys saw it's wrapped in leather and even if you peel the leather off of it you actually can't uh it still doesn't have a way that i could see it looks like it's pretty different anyways i'm going to screw that in and now i can use any type of ram mount uh, that i want which is nice because i want to be able to mount my ipad so i can use the gaia mapping navigation software it's just so much better than the built-in stuff that uh, jeep provides so anyhow that is it Simple install. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. See you on the next video.